Hello everyone, greetings from My Perfect Dice. So in this video, I am going to show you how to use the My Perfect Dice platform. Before we proceed further, let me tell you what are the basic requirements that we require to access the platform. So the first thing which you will need is a device on which you can access the internet. It can either be your cell phone or a laptop or desktop. So uh, according to your preference, you can uh, use the platform on any of these uh, devices. The second thing which you'll need is a webcam or in a camera or front camera in case of a cell phone. So, uh, and this must be in a working condition. And the third thing which you will need is a uh, internet connectivity. A uh, proper internet connectivity is required to access the platform. So let us proceed further and see how we can access the platform. We can use any browser. However, I recommend the Google Chrome browser as it's highly compatible with the system. So open your browser, whichever you are using and enter the website URL, which is perfectize.cutm.ac.in. That is perfectize.cutm. Dot ac dot in. Once you have accessed the platform, click on login and you'll enter your credentials in the in this section. So once you access uh, enter your credentials for the CU team instance, the credentials are your email ID and the password is which is same for all student is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. A with a, uh, a small a. So once you enter your credentials correctly, you will click on login. So once you access the platform, the next thing, uh, if you are accessing the platform for the first time, the next thing which you will do is go to the My Profile section, click on My Profile and update your password. We highly recommend you to update your password. The default password which has been provided to you is same for every student. So anyone can access your platform who has your email ID. So we recommend you to update your password. So for updating the password, you'll go to the My Profile section. You'll see a change password option here. You will click on your uh, old password. So in my case, I'll enter my old password, which is and update it with a new password. Once you have entered the new password and confirmed the new password, you'll click on update. Once you have done that correctly, the password will be changed successfully. So on the next thing uh, which you will see on this uh, page is your profile details you we highly recommend you to update your profile details so once uh, you will enter all your details here like your gender date of birth email id your state for which you belong your branch pin the basic details which you can fill so uh, the platform also has a resume feature so what this resume feature does is it's uh, once you enter your education details in this section your entrance exam details in this section, your industry certifications which you have received in this section, your training and internships uh, which you have done during the college uh, process, and your academic pros uh, academic projects, awards and recognition, and technical skill level, the details which you can provide here you are uh, required to fill. And once you have done that, the download resume option will be available here so you can download your resume so in this case you won't need to prepare your resume the platform will prepare a resume for you and you can download it in form of a pdf so let's go further and i'll show you what is the dashboard section so click on the dashboard section 
here in the dashboard section we uh, you can post your ideas and queries uh, the perfect text team is always there to help you even your teachers will help you you can um, sh share your idea with your friends your juniors and they will be able to see your idea and uh, you can uh, have a conversation in the uh, section um, like a comment section uh, there's a comment section there you can uh, have a conversation so if somebody is facing a problem you can solve the problem then and there if any student is facing a problem on the platform he can post his uh, discussions here and uh, the perfect text team will clear it out or the teachers will clear it out so let me show you how to do this so go to uh, uh, click on share your ideas and learnings click on it you can write uh, your uh, queries or whatever the, you want here so for uh, instance let me post so i can uh, post uh, anything for this is just for an example you don't need to post this unnecessary uh, comments or posts here you will uh, we highly recommend you to please uh, only post the post which are related to your studies or academics in this uh, section so you can uh, click on post and this this will be posted here you will need to tag your classrooms and you will need to tag your uh, grade here so uh, once you tag these uh, the students will be a of those classes and those grade will only be able to see uh, the post uh, which you are posting and second thing is in the profile section dashboard section you will also see on the level which you are this level will change according to the number of tests you have attempted and according to your school same will be for other students so you can uh, see you uh, right now this student the id student id which i am using is on level one so the student has only attempted the test for level one once he attempts the test and move forward this level will change and according to that you can see a detailed analysis on uh, this section right here so let us move to the test section and i'll show you how uh, we can attempt a test on the platform so for that you will go to the test section in the test section um, whenever a test is posted it can it will be updated in the test section so accordingly you will find the test which you have to give and click on the test uh, which you have to give and click on it once you click on it a new page will open here you can see uh, right now my camera is off so uh, i you won't be able to see but in your case your camera has to be on so uh, right here you will see your image the image which your front uh, camera is capturing here this should always be on the take test button which you see here it will not be available until and unless the camera is available so click on this lock symbol right here and allow camera and sound this should always be allowed if you want to attempt a test so the next thing which you will uh, do to take a test is click on take test button so in the next page for a test with the instructions which you are supposed to read before the giving the test will be available in this section and accordingly here the ca camera image will be displayed in this white box here the camera image will be displayed so once you have uh, gone through the instructions we'll click on i am ready to start and the test will enter a full screen mode so uh, anything you do will be recorded on the platform any sound you make any movement you do will be recorded through the camera image right here and the audio so 
but the next thing is uh, I if you move try to move uh, out of this screen if you try to move sorry if I am trying to move out of this screen don't move away from the window or else your test will be marked suspicious warnings like this will come if I move too close to the down uh, section warnings will be there so I always recommend you to stay on this window the white window which you see and uh, if a question is not loaded properly do not refresh the page entirely click on refresh button which is on the page which is right here click on this refresh button and once you are done with that the test will load again and your test won't get uh, won't end in this case so always click this refresh button to end the test so next uh, let's go to uh, attempting the test so you uh, see uh, you will read the question and attempt the question uh, cut, uh, click on the correct uh, answers according to it you can always mark a question and review for next once you go to uh, mark a question it will appear in mark for review section here and the sections according to which the questions are distributed are shown here so this question number five is for verbal ability question number three and four are for reasoning ability and question number one and two are for quantitative amplitude for this test can mark a question for feedback or you can remove a question uh, remove from feedback so once you are done you can move uh, attempt the uh, test click on the right answer click on next click on the right answer click on test accordingly you will give your test yeah see you can see a timer here once this time uh, time has ended the uh, test will end automatically So once you have attempted all the questions, you can click on finish button, which is right here. And we always recommend you to end the test properly. Uh, or if you don't do this properly, if you don't end the test properly, your test attempt will not be recorded. So always wait for the page to end. Do not close the tab in which you are giving the test until and unless the page has loaded successfully and always click on finish button to end the test and click on yes yes so once this submitting attempt button uh, page has ended and the platform loads itself to the new page only then and uh, you can exit from the uh, platform so the next thing i am going to show you is the package section so here in the package section there will be various packages according to your subjects so for example uh, a cognitive skill package will be here so in the cognitive skill package uh, you can go there and attempt the test so in uh, the cognitive skill package there will be various tests are marked according to different levels so once you complete uh, a suf uh, or score a sufficient mark to move to level two the test for level two will be uh, available to you similarly if you attempt the test and score enough marks to score to level three and uh, the level three test will be open to you and accordingly your analysis will be showed in here in the dashboard section which i just showed earlier so here you will move to uh, once you have completed level two you will move to le uh, level uh, two once you have completed level three you will be in level three and you will move to level four accordingly you will move further so there will be various tests and various packages you can uh, always uh, see the pack uh, test according to your performance according to each package uh, by selecting the packages from this section this section which is here cognitive skills is only available for the CUTM instance now so only the cognitive skill package will be available here so the next thing which you uh, will go to uh, once you are attempted a test you will attempt the test as mentioned earlier the same process will be uh, available for each test uh, so I recommend to you to attempt the test properly and Please do not try to cheat. 
because the platform is smart enough to capture any move or if you try to cheat everything will be recorded and your scores will be calculated accordingly next section which i am going to show you is the e learning section here different in the e-learning section different study material are available so if you are not clear with any topic you can always come back and study uh, the topic from this section so uh, there are different videos and their uh, different study material will be uh, updated in this section so once you uh, you are not clear if you are not clear with any topic you can search for that topic in this search bar and you will find the videos or study material according to that topic and you can study from there and you can clear your concepts in the e-learning section so suppose you are attempting the test and you are not clear with the pack, uh, package so before attempting the test you can always come back and study the topic from uh, this section there are various study materials you can study them and then go and attempt the test the next thing is the talk section the chat button which you see right here in uh, in the right hand lower corner of the platform this uh, section is always available for the students uh, so that they can always uh, have a conversation with us so this section um, is in case if you face any problem on the platform the perfect test team is always available there for you so what you need to do is enter your enter your name in the name section your email the email id the college email id uh, which you use for the platform and your phone number once you enter these three things you will click on start so for example let me see let, i can enter any details for example So once you have entered the details, click on start chat. These details will be sent to the uh, perfect uh, support team and they will help you according to your problem. So you will write your problem. Suppose I can, if you cannot access the test, you will write the, uh, pro your problem here that I So once you write your problem here, you click on enter and this uh, perfect text support team from, uh, from the backend will help you to solve your problem accordingly. The perfect text team will always be there for you. Uh, for your support on the talk chat so you can reach us to us uh, reach us at any point of time if you have any problem. 